Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Project High Rise, shall we? Well, last time what we did was just basically go through the tutorial, learn the ropes of the game, get a feel for the presentation, the music, the systems, the gameplay, and make a determination on whether or not we wanted to really continue with it. And I have to say, my interest was piqued, and your comments on the YouTube video also really inspired me to go further because you were encouraging and uh, fondly remembered Sim Tower, or uh, just wanted to see where this would go if I started my own tower. So indeed, that's what we're going to do, and we'll get started in one second. Okay, so we're going to get a new game, and we're going to start a new building. Now, it's not going to be called Magnificent Towers, because, um, you know, it's us. So it's going to be called, um, Dr. Incompetence, um, Incredible Structure. How about that? Dr. Incompetent's Incredible Structure. You know, I was going to say tower. Like, I was going to put tower on the end of it, but it just seems too on the nose. Like, everything's a tower. No. We're going to we're gonna go, we're going to subvert the tower. We're, and um, we could say high rise. We could say skyscraper. We could say tower. We could say building. But let's say structure. It adds an air of mystery. You don't know what kind of structure it is. Um, now, we could play on um, beginner or easy, medium, or hard. All right, so I'm going to be on easy. And you know why I'm going to be on easy? Because it's not the easiest. It's not beginner. Uh, it, you know, it feels like I could go medium if I wanted to, but let's just start, let's start nice and easy and then move up if we need to. Lot size standard seems far fine. Start with a good amount of money. The economy is solid and tenants are easy to find. Start on a regular size empty lot. Now, if I go to medium, it says we don't have very much money. The economy is solid, but it costs will be higher and revenues lower than in standard mode. Um, Ah, so they consider easy to be standard mode. Did you see that giveaway with the language? So we're going to go with that. Uh, unlimited cash and resources would be like true sandbox. And advanced settings for customizing the game further. I'm not going to do that. I don't know anything. We're just going to dive into it with the default settings. All right. Um, and the game is paused. No, it's not. I'm going to pause it. And let's see. So, here we go. Awesome. We're starting out. We have some uh, laborers coming to the workforce over here. Let me see this. Who is this? Uh -huh. This is Patrick. He works at the office. Uh -huh. And this is Alan, who also works at the office. Fantastic. Uh -huh. All right. So, um, let's start giving these people names. Um, this is Lance, who recommended the game. Hi, Lance. Thank you, and we will say good, and then um, I'm just going to go on people who are members of the channel, people who are patrons of the channel, and people who have commented on the video so far, so I know Point commented on this. This is Point right here. Fantastic, and we'll try to get everybody into this operation, make it a real communal effort. Hopefully nobody dies in this game. It always becomes traumatic when I name people in games after friends of the channel and then they die, like in Darkest Dungeon. This doesn't look as dangerous. Alright, so proof of concept says if we hit a daily rent goal of a thousand uh, we're going to get some kind of reward. And it's a contract that we've already signed. And we could take on additional contracts to earn extra cash. Um, hello there. I just wanted to remind you about contracts from the city. They're a great way, way to earn extra cash while also helping our city. You started out with one active contract. To sign an additional contract, find a button in the bottom bar that looks like this piece of paper with money on it. Okay, so if I want an additional one, um, I could get basic offices, which says the Department of Planning and Development 
wants to ensure that the city commercial tax base is diversified and not overly dependent on any one sector succeeding or vulnerable should it collapse. To that end, they'd like to move in a diverse group of 16 small offices, and they pay 500 bucks up front and 1000 on completion. And then it says we would get five influence if we do it. Now, I have to say that's a tremendous goal. I can't wait to do it. The only concern I have is, is there a time limit, right? Now, it also says that you can only have two contracts active at a time. So if I accept one of these, I already have proof of concept down. So that means that I will not be able to um, take on the studio apartments contract until I complete one, as far as I understand it. So the choice is between either going for offices or apartments. And this just says they'd like you to increase the stock of housing available in the city for newcomers. They think studio apartments are best for that. Construct 10 of them and they'll be grateful. Now, um, I'm going to try going the commercial route first and using offices. I feel like offices probably have more requirements than tenants who live in apartments, but pay greater rent. And so that is promising. Also, you know, the way they design buildings anymore, they put the commercial space on the lower floors, rent that out, and then the living is higher up. So let's, since we're at the bottom, let's have offices first. Um, so it's not... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to click sign contract. Great. And then there's some other ones that I can't do because I've got two. Fantastic. So um, we got an advance payment of $500. And you can see the 10000 that we started with has been increased by 500 All right. So we need insurance agents, accountants, lawyers, and creatives. Wow. The real smathering. Indeed. All right. So this is the first floor. Now, the tutorial really didn't tell you anything about this, uh, how to even start out, but I think we need a lobby of some kind, right? Uh, so, we need an elevator, and we need a lobby, don't we? Um, so, it says lobby, so build a two-story lobby featuring elegantly polished stone blocks. Wow, I mean... That seems ridiculous. Uh, maybe not. Maybe you don't have that. Um, maybe you just, you know, put a small lobby on. Nah, I don't know. Why not? Why not have a two-story lobby? All right. So what we'd have to do then is go to construction, and we need to build um, an elevator. Elevators connect up different floors, but they have... Um, upkeep cost every day whereas the stairs do too but they're cheaper now this can only be placed in an empty lobby i don't know what that means do they consider this to be the lobby i guess so so maybe you have a lobby okay well here's what i do i'm gonna build an elevator and we're gonna build it um, like kind of in the middle for now right there and then we need to build um, this thing higher up so we need to raise this up add more floors okay so we're gonna add um, another floor all the way over like that so far okay then we need to build another elevator right there okay so we have two elevators now this is the um the wiring closet so i think we need another wiring closet so we click power and we just say um electricity we'll need a wiring closet and we can put it there so this floor would have power theoretically i think that's how it goes um and we can build electrical lines uh you know, all the way across. And I think if I just push shift, yep, it'll build all the way across. Okay, so we have wiring now. And I'm going to uh, close this by right-clicking. 
And now we have a second floor that's under construction and I want to go back into this and I want to say lobby and can we build like the big lobby? Why can't we do that? I was really hoping maybe this has to get finished first. So I'm going to unpause it and see if that will help. Now I'm going to also put um, office space in. Uh, here. You've just allocated empty space for rent. Make sure to click on it and set it to be advertised so that you can find a tenant. Okay, thanks. So let's do that. And we need, um, yeah, an insurance person is fine. These people will all pay 90, that guy 85. They just need electricity. All right, so let's just say um, city insurance company you're in. All right, now what's going on? What are you doing? Point. It's a brand new day. Okay, yes it is. All right, they're working. Good, they're building this up. All right, so let's just let them build. Now, I kind of feel like I might have made a, just a horrible mistake by putting this where I did considering that offices um, are as big as they are. I can make a whole... Well, it's, it's okay for studio apartments. It just doesn't work as well for that. Um, let's see. What else can I put in? Courier services, no demand. Okay. Um, all right. Retail store. So I can't fit a store in. I could fit it in up there, though. Okay, interesting. All right. Anyway, let's build another office. I can't build the office until they finish. So I'm actually going to kind of speed it up. Overdrive. Just let them go. Look at those hammers. Oh, my God. Beautiful work, guys. What is he upset about? He's like, he looked at me like he's cross. I'd like to get some lunch, but where? Oh, they don't have a place. They don't have a place to eat. I mean, it's a fair point. I don't have a restaurant for you. All right. Um. Well, I was going to build this really nice lobby, but maybe. Hear me out here. Maybe that isn't the way to do it. You know. I can build a nice lobby. All right. Let me. Let me do this. Let's just have a restaurant right when you come in. Delightful, right? Right here. Beautiful restaurant, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we can build a big lobby. There's really no reason to do this except for that I'm just being like horrifyingly greedy. Okay, great. So you come in and then there's a nice lobby and then we can put an office right there once they're done with it. And let's just speed it up. Oh, I got to rent to somebody. Um, donut shops. Building does not meet the requirement for a cafe, but I can do a food court restaurant. And Bloon Spoon Wraps likes high traffic areas. Well, you're not going to get much more high traffic than right when you come in. All right, we got Bloon Spoon Wraps coming in. He's finishing this. He's like, hey, where do I eat? And I'm like, hey, we don't do that here. And how are you living? All right, who moved in? This is City Insurance Company. Um, and that's Cheryl. Okay, fantastic. Um, guess what? Perfect. This is Hella, and she is working at the City Insurance Company. But this is actually... Did you know that this was um, incompetent insurance company? We don't do a good job with insurance. But, man, we've got a nice company. All right. Fantastic. And I'm going to close this, and we'll just go back to normal speed. And let's just speed it up a little bit. We can zoom out. We just, ah, I like this zoomed-in view. This is nice. And we have space in the basement. Okay, perfect. So Blue Spoon Wraps is done. Um, Blue Spoon Incompetent Wraps. They aren't wrapped well. Serves breakfast and lunch. 
satisfaction, delightful. Looks like there is nobody who works here. So, it's just a restaurant, but it doesn't have a person, maybe, who comes in? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go here, and we can put in another office right there. Uh, and this office is going to be an accounting office, because we need a wide variety. What is the requirements? They need a phone line. Ah, and they need a greater variety of food court restaurants. Well, get out of here. So they want phones and they want food courts. Well, I don't have any of that, but this guy will come in and ooh, he expects courier services and copy services. Now they all do. So you can expect it. It's just not going to be installed. Okay. Um, what do I have here? Do I have um, courier service? Yeah, that would go in the basement, though. That's right. Okay. Um, what about copy service? Delivers pens. What is this? Dog walking. Laundromat. Handyman. I don't know how I can do copy services. Um, picks up and delivers. Delivers pens. Bottled water. Oh, it's down here, probably. Here it is. Okay. Fine. We can do that. Is it okay that it's in the basement? They get to the basement through these steps, I see. Okay, um, what about... Let's make some more basement, I guess. Okay. So, we want them to do this, and then... I, I don't know if you can, like, demolish it. There you go. And then we need to have... Um, provide four storage bays for retail storage. Oh, no, we don't need that. What we're looking for are these. And so if you want... Well, let's just see if he demands courier service. Or if it's, if it's more like another day, another dollar, says Hella. Okay. Or if it's more like later, he'll demand that. Oh, here comes a worker. And who is this dude? That's Frederick. Or is it more like Manto? All right, Manto. You're working at Blue Spoon, Spoon Incompetent Wraps. I hope you enjoy making delicious food for everyone. All right, fantastic. They're going to go down here and finish this basement. What did he think? <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm out. I'm leaving. All right, dude. Good work. Okay, and they're going to go finish up up here, which is terrific. Okay. Phenomenal. Now, we can fit in another office. I'm building only offices uh, right now because that is what my... Um, you know, job requires, basically. So they're asking me to build offices for my contract. I wish I could have planned this better, you know, so that it, it didn't work the way that it does, but that's okay. We're going to build that right there. And let's, who are we going to rent this out to? Legal offices. What do you want? You're in. All right, here these people go. Lance and Point just doing really good work. Finishing this up. All right. And tremendous. And Draper Law Office. Oh, it's kind of like Don Draper, but not. Um... All right, so this is going to be the incompetent law office. They don't do law very well, but they do it. Okay, and then we've got the insurance and um, sharp tax offices. Nice. Um, I don't know what's sharp about it. More like we messed up your taxes and you're getting audited by the IRS. And our budget, not so good. 
Expenses, ouch. But that's okay. We're gonna deal with that. We're, we're a new tower. I think we have to build another floor, like, right away. You know what I should also do is, um... I should consider, like, what if I just wanted to build over here? I can't? I can't build any wider? Is there a reason for that? Oh, because the floor. Like, what if I... What if I expand this? And then this? Will this help me make it wider, right? Yes, once this gets built. And then now I can build because the foundation is wider. So let's see how wide we want to make it. If it's four for each office, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm going to make it just wide enough to put in a service lift. I don't think the basement actually has to match. I think it's just fine like this. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway, just for that. Now, I don't know when you make it wider if you want more elevators, you know. Um, but for now, it's our first tower. We don't know what we're doing. Let's just go with this. Man. These workers are unreal. They work night and day, 24-7. I mean, goodness gracious. Thank you. There they go. Just being amazing. All right, so now that this is done, I wonder if you can move it. Yeah, um, evict or remove. No, I don't want to do that. I just wish I could, like, say, hey, can you move this over, right? And so I'm going to just... Oh, it instantly removes it. That's great, actually. And then if I go to my wiring, you'll see that... Oh, we've got problems with the wiring. They've turned into dotted lines. We're going to put wiring closets over here. And it grabs the power line. So when you have a power line at the bottom, the, the wiring closets don't need to be above it, which is just tremendous. All right, then we're just going to build um, wiring, like, you know, like all the way. Do it. Now we got it. Perfect. Um, and then... I'm not going to build phones yet because they don't seem to be, like, absolutely 100% required. But I'm going to build some more offices. So we're going to go into offices, and we're going to build an office here. And we're going to build an office there. And it's interesting. I wonder if people get mad about walking through the offices or if that's not a concern. The creative offices won't meet here because... They, I can't even get this until we have a greater variety of cafes and one prestige. So that's not happening. What does this one want? Oh, I just need to get my rent up. Okay, that's fine. Let's get another insurance office. They just need electrical line. You got it. And then let's have... Um, we're just going to have all insurance on the bottom. Just like all insurance all the time. They expect copy services. We can get that. Let's just go in here. Let's get everybody... People have been talking about these copy services for some time. Well, but that's only if they want to upgrade, maybe, you know? And if they're not, like, absolutely demanding it right now... Okay, alright, now who's this lady back here? This is Doris. Okay, well, Doris, it's great to see you. Um, we're going to name Doris something else, like, you know... Terror Kittens. Channel member. Fantastic. And who is this? That's Hella. She's coming into work. All right. And here we go. Work those hammers. All right. And this is Johnny. Did you say Johnny? Because... I said Saxon. Saxon. Longest current channel member. 
Hello, my friend. Here you are, working at the incompetent law office. You're a lawyer. Fantastic. What is this? Look at this. I'm going to zoom way in. Look at this lawyer on the desk over here. It's just alcohol. They just have a huge, like, decanter of booze. The insurance people are like, we have coffee. Like, that's how we do things. That's just booze. All right. And who is this? Samuel? Oh, you also work at Blue Spoon Incompetent Raps. I see. More like Brewy. Brewy, what's up, my friend? You're working at the Raps. That's a rap. Who's this? It's Sherry, and she works at Valos in Insurance. Sherry? More like Crab. Crab, how you doing? You're at Vlahos Insurance. And we're going to rename that Vlahos Insurance for you. I don't know about that name. Let's think about this. We already have um, Incompetent Insurance Corporation. So let's just say for... Um, we can just call it Crab's Insurance. I mean, Crab works there. Crab runs the show. Crab's Insurance. That guy's not happy. Let me uh, pause the game. Why are you unhappy? He wants a cup of coffee. I'd grab some dinner, but where? Ooh, this place is only breakfast and lunch. I see. I can understand that. Okay. Well, can I build a, a better place than this? Like another restaurant? Is that... Is that doable? I don't know. Anyway. That's too bad. Hey, you gotta fix that up. So we can get stuff moving in. There we go. Alright. So if I did want to build... This is a um, law office, right? So if I wanted to build another um, office, I could build it there. And I could build one here. That's fantastic. And then I'm going to slide in some other... Uh, boy, did I miscount this this bad? I don't know what I was... Like, how I was counting things, but... I just wretchedly counted it. But luckily, you can just move it over. So anyway, we're going to go for a... Um, a legal office. And, ooh, this guy will pay a bunch. They want to move in. Great. Legal office. Um, you're in. Unpause it. All right, who are you? Steve? Steve? More like Key. Key, what's up, my friend? You work at Ho and Inicus Incorporated? No, that's going to be rechanged um, to Canadian Company. I know Key is a proud Canadian and wants to celebrate his national enjoyment. Okay, so they are not satisfied because they don't have memos. So they want the copy services. So let's do that. Um, it says no demand, but I see demand. So we can put this in the basement. How about right here? All right. And let's see what's happening. I'll tell you what's happening. We're losing money. Horribly. Do you make money for us? They have one regular who likes us. Okay, great. We're gaining more customers. They like that. They, I mean, this is the prime real estate. Look at this. Everybody who comes in has to go there. Pretty good spot. All right, so let's throw in another restaurant, I guess. And put it right there. See how it happens. All right, who wants to move in here? A donut shop? Perfect. They said they wanted coffee, right? Um, let's do it. Now, wait, they need some stuff. What is it? Well, we'll figure it out in a second. They need water, I think. Oh, they can't work because they, they need a phone line. Okay, we can do that. So we're going to go to um, phone, and we'll build a... Uh, 
phone switchboard. And we can build it, you know, down there. And then from this utility office, we can, or this wiring closet, we can just take this over for phone and just kind of um, put it all the way there. And there. Expensive work, but we've done it. And we'll just right click and get rid of that. Okay. How are you doing? All right. So this is Thomas, who works at Peggy C. Cantu Investigations. Awesome. He's a, he's an attorney, but he's like a an investigative attorney. That's that's great, is what that is. All right. So Thomas, more like. Phil Street. All right, Phil. You're an investigative attorney, Phil. Proud channel patron. Let's go ahead and get in here. Let's rename this place. This is Phil's Incompetent Investigations. And I think things are going to go well here. This is uh, Christine. Okay. And I think that uh, we can safely, you know, it's going to require a little bit of uh, gender work. And I apologize to all of you if um, there's a gender switch going on here in the game. But it's just because I need to get everyone in and, you know, we're having fun here. So this is Kuro. Kuro, how you doing in Brazil? I hope all is well. I hope the Jaka is not landing on you. And we're going to rename this place. Um, Brazilian Jaka LLP. I might not be spelling Jaka right. There might be accents. I can't recall exactly. But that, that looks pretty close to me right now. And all right. This is great. What's wrong with crab? Rent is too high. We should be paying less. Well, you know, I understand that. All right, we got copiers. Oh, my goodness. We've got all kinds of people working at the copy place. You know, like Dr. Octagonopus, for example. Or what about channel member Tom Davies? Things are really falling into place here. Uh, who's this? Oh, it's Phil. All right. Great. And... Schnecken? Why not? Schneck, here you are, my friend. Working in the copy shop. And... You know who else is in here? Jack Meadows. Jack channel member thanks for your support i hope you enjoy working at the copy center but it's not just a copy center i want you all to know it's an incompetent copy center oops let's space that right all right perfect do it all right let's get this place humming i mean how are we doing do we even come close to a profit you know what? Yes. We, If I'm not spending money, we actually make more rent than operating costs by $25 per day. That's really good. And what is this? This needs... They can't function without a water hookup. So let's go to utilities and water. And let's put in a water meter. Down there. And then... I actually don't know how to connect water. They need a plumbing closet. Okay, good. Well, then that's why I made these spaces a little bit bigger. 
because I didn't know what I was doing. And so I'm only going to build the plumbing to there. I don't need it for the whole width of the place. Actually, I could, I could probably remove some phone line right here. I mean, I don't think that the shop needs it. The elevator doesn't need it. Just do it like that. All right, let's get this thrown in. How are you guys doing? You'd like some lunch, but where? Well, we have a place for lunch, and we, now we have a donut shop, and this is Geraldine's Donuts. Um, more like Geraldine's incompetent, but delicious donuts. They're still good. They're incompetent, but they're still good. All right, fine, fine. We didn't... We may have spent all our money, but it, it happens. I need to stop. I need to... I'm now losing $90 a day. I, I, need, I need to really turn things around. I don't know if I'm generating enough money. I do have some space up here, though. Do I want to move in a store? I don't have enough space right there. Office? Maybe I made mistakes by just going straight for the offices and I need to be doing something wiser. No, that won't fit. Um... I've got some work to do, he says. Another day, another dollar. All right. Well, with everybody here... But look, we're going to get proof of concept if we get 40 more dollars in rent. So let's just move in one more office, right? Right there. And um, what we need is one more... Um, let me check this out. For this, we would need one more insurance agent... Um, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Well, actually, the accounting offices, how much money do they generate? They need courier services, but they'd pay 140 per day? That's fantastic. We can get courier services. If everybody has to have that. We can go here, we can go here, and we can go courier services. And just put them over there. There you go. And hopefully that makes everyone somewhat pleased. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Time for a lunch, says Saxon. Well, everybody's shopping here. Look at this. Kuro and Hella are both going here for some food. You've reached a, a rating of one prestige. Oh, we did it from completing the contract, maybe. That's a great step toward fame and glory. If you look down at your build menu, some new decorating options unlocked because of your higher prestige. More options will unlock later as you reach even higher levels of prestige. Okay, great, thanks. Um, so this restaurant says, we like being in a high traffic area, we're gathering more customers, and they're making a pretty good amount of revenue, so they won't go bankrupt, I suppose. What do you need? You need power, um, you need electricity. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, can I just go into here and go... Can I build a wiring closet just, like, right below? And then, um... Can you do that? How's that? Does that get power? It does. Alright. Oh, what's this? What's the problem here? There's not enough electrical transformers in the building. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. Well, that's my own fault, of course. I'll put another one in. Right, they only support 10 offices or so. All right. Now, how are we doing? No one picked up our urgent delivery. I just finished the courier services, so hopefully, hopefully that'll move in and everything will work out. There we go. And there's Bernard, or as we like to call him... 
the 357 Archangel. Hello, my friend. There you are. And let's see who else. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Steven. Or, as he's more commonly known, Akos. My most recent channel member. Good day, my friend. All right, terrific. Fantastic. All right, and let's see who else we got. Rebecca, uh -huh. Danny. Actually, perfect. Dan commented on the video about this being a potential Sim Tower clone because he expressed that he loved Sim Tower when he was a kid, which I did too, and I also had no idea what I was doing. I just liked seeing it go. And so, Dan, you're a courier. Welcome to the game. Oh, wait, Dan, come back. There. Fantastic. And let's see. How's everybody doing? Okay, it seems. Mm -hmm. They're out. All right. So we're still losing money, but we did get some prestige, which will allow us to move in the creatives that we needed. All right. And we got some new decorating elements, like if I want to just throw in some, some artwork or whatever. Hey, when we did it. You've completed proof of concept. The reward of $500 has been wired to your account. If you feel up to it, more lucrative contracts may be available under the contracts menu. Great. So we got the 500 bucks, which is perfect. And we can go to contracts and drop in and see what's available. Uh, uh, more people needed. Um, increase our population to 50. And then incremental income says... Um, they are looking for rent revenues of 3000 or more. I don't think so. But studio apartments. Here we go. Construct 10 studio apartments. That should be something that we can do. So I'm going to do that and add this in so that we can begin building those apartments. I'm going to turn the time back on. Okay. And I think it's safe to say that we're going to have to uh, build a new floor. And so let's just start doing that. I know they're unreachable. I, I know, I know. Um, your building staff can't get where they need to go. I know, I know. I just need to build them a elevator and everything will be okay. There we go. And then let's just throw up a wiring closet while we're doing this. Um, right there. And we'll just right click away. And here we go. How's it going in here, Geraldine? Or who works here? Well, it's Kiva, longtime channel patron. Good to see you. Fantastic. All right. And everything here is looking great. All right. Now we're losing money pretty badly. But we can get it back. Maybe. Somehow. All right, so I'm going to start throwing in. Uh, we need four creatives. I want to try to get this basic offices contract done because it's actually a lot of money. So what we could attempt to do here is um, I could throw in a store, actually, you know, if I wanted, and I could fit it right there. Now, I might actually, I'm going to wait for that. I don't know why I want a store, but maybe it'll help. How's everybody doing? It's lunchtime. Brand new day. Time for a lunch. That was a good lunch. Okay, so they're happy. Oh, they made a bunch of money. We need to start raising their rent. Alright. 
And there they go. They're going to finish this. Terrific. Okay. And so I'm going to start throwing in offices. We need creatives. So we're going to go one, two, three, four offices there. We actually need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven offices to finish. And we will put in a shop. And let's get these people rented. Okay. So, food and beverage. Portable electronics, books, drug stores, flower stores, souvenir shops. Um... What do we not have? They need a storeroom. Oh, okay. So all of these need a storeroom before they'll move in. Okay, that's fine. So we just need to go into... Uh... Oh, where was that? I know I saw it somewhere. Facilities. Uh, storeroom. Oh my god. This is expensive and huge. Uh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have built that. I can't even come close to affording this. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'd like to lose the game. All right. And let's just get that in there. And then now, uh, once that gets finished, they can throw that in. Let's go ahead and get people in. We still need an insurance person. And he doesn't pay very much, so that's a shame. And we need... Uh, some accountants. Great. They need a phone line. We can do that. Accountant there and legal office. Or what about a creative? Ooh, nice. They pay a lot. Terrific. All right. And then we'll just go over here to uh, the phone line. And we can drag that across. All right. Now, we should have enough people moving in. Let's see how this goes. Oh, and I can get somebody in here. Um, 175, 230. Ooh. They just need phone. All right, let's just see what pays the most. Hmm. Okay. I mean, the, the electronics place pays the most. I don't know if any of my um, clients want that. Like, people who live here already, I don't know if they want that. Uh, what is this? What's the problem here? Do we not have enough power? Oh, they don't have an electrical line. I see. Okay. Um, power. phone. Hi right there. Right, we got enough insurance offices. Oh, we got a little buzz going on. Um, but we don't have enough to spend on this. And we have one point here, which... Um, we would need to build the uh, the influencer, the, the building consultant, to do that. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's see how this is looking. Now we're operating in a massive deficit. That's really scary. This was very expensive to open up. Let's see if we can make some money back. I don't think so. Oh, you know. It's a nice dream. Oh my god, our money. What have we done? We've squandered everything. That's okay.
I think I, you know, I swerved too hard going for a bunch of offices to try to hit this. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it, but I just need to build one, two, three, four offices, and I will get this this done. Oh, we actually making profit now. I wonder what that hap how that happened. Now we actually are pl plus 35. So that's good. Okay. So maybe we can run in the green. Awesome. All right, so we're going to move these offices in and try to finish this contract and get some more contracts and then we're going to see if we could start to diversify the space a little bit and move in these people make some living place i can't tell if i want to make the place wider right now or just keep making it taller i'm not sure which one feels right but i'm having a good time playing the game and I think this is a good place to stop, everyone. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. If you're interested in a good book to read or a board game to play, you can check in the links in the description below for some recommendations that I have. And maybe support the channel by purchasing one through Amazon. I want to thank you all again. I hope you are doing well, and I'll check you next time. Take care.